I got a sneeze. Everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have this Chevy Tahoe that is right behind me. This isn't a microphone, it's just a tripod. On this Chevy Tahoe, you can see that the windshield is extremely dark, it is illegal. So like I said, we're gonna remove it, replace it with an 80% clear film, and then uh, the customer's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and get started. This is probably a good time to mention that we are going to be using our Jiffy steamer to take this window tint off of the window. It's always our first method of removal. Most of the time it will take all the window tint off of the window without leaving any glue and it comes off a lot easier. So I highly recommend you invest in one, especially if you're a window tenter. All right, let's roll the music and take the tent off. Yeah. Now that all the window tint came off, I went ahead and I took our Windex and soaked the entire windshield with it. What the Windex is going to do is it's going to eat away any glue that the window tint left behind. The reason for this is because of the ammonia that is inside of the Windex. We're going to continue to let that Windex sit on the glue, soften it up a little bit, maybe even eat it away. While that's doing that, we're going to go ahead, come on the outside of the vehicle, prep it to dry shrink. We're going to cut it on the outside and then once we get done with all of our outside prep work, we should be ready to clean the inside of the windshield and apply the new piece of window tint to the glass. So let's go. Let's, so what? So let's go ahead and do that. Once they get done shrinking the window tent to the shape of the window, they'll take their knife, go ahead, trace the outline of the window, and um, then it's gonna be ready for install. <laughs> One of the last things we always do before we do our final scrubby on the window is one, put on a glove so our fingers and hands don't get dried out by the product that I'm about to tell you. Two, you're gonna grab a couple paper towels and just kind of fold it into like a little square rectangle like you see here. And then you're going to just dab it up with a little bit of lacquer thinner. The lacquer thinner is basically the last choice of glue removal that we use. It's going to immediately dissolve any more glue that could be on the window. So that's one of the important things that you always do, especially on a windshield, because windshields have oil change stickers, they have registration stickers, they have uh, toll tags. So there's a bunch of stickers that could go on the windshield. So this is really one of the steps that I would recommend that you do before you do your final scrubby. Now, once we get done lacquering the window, we will then take our Windex and our scrub pad, spray it on the windshield, give it a quick scrub to knock off any loose dirt or glue that might still be on the windshield. Once we've done that, we'll squeeze you off the dirty soapy water and apply our 80% film, which is hanging right behind you. We'll apply our 80% film to the windshield. everybody that is going to do it for this video you saw us take off the old window tent that was on this windshield 
We took it off with the Jiffy steamer, we cleaned it, we shrunk the film, cut it, applied the new piece of window tint to the window. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. As always, go follow our TikTok, Instagram, like our Facebook page, and go follow our new website at GlacierWindowTinting.com. All of our posts that we do on Instagram will also pop up on our website, so please be sure you go check that out as well. And I will see all of you next time. I got to sneeze. <laughs> I'm out.